Oh yeah, so I was doing some mad wheelies and the front tire fell off, which really sucked because I had to wheelie all the way home. <sighs> Repost. Okay, see what I did there? That was FUD. I told a story and you believed it. Just kidding, except for the part where I wheelied all the way home. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so I wanted to talk about all of the uh, little colloquialisms and nicknames and terms and stuff that have come about from me being in the crypto world. And the first one is Elon Musk, who, yeah, he just made things quite messy this week. But sure enough, Bitcoin doesn't need him. I like that Cryptos R Us started calling him Elon. He refuses to call him Elon. <laughs> I don't know, as if that that's insulting, but it's pretty funny. But there is a, a shit coin now. It's called Elon Musk. <laughs> it's like, oh man, whatever, guys. It's not a harsh environment, but when you're spreading FUD, it's fear, uncertainty, and doubt like he did, you're going to suffer the consequences and Tesla stocks did and then I thought it was awesome Kathy Woods got involved she has like two billion dollars invested in Tesla so she's she saved his ass a couple times but uh, now he's kind of backpedaling a little bit so diamond hands and diamond hands it's the opposite of paper handed sissy babies so you hodl onto your bitcoin never sell i'm a firm hodler and i think that term came from a uh, misspell a japanese person was explaining holding it hodlers or plebs <laughs> not the degenerates like the wall street bets guys plebs and hodlers is kind of perfect michael sailor and he's a genius. You probably have heard that name. <laughs> if not, you will. Well, for me, he coined the term Bitcoin standard instead of the gold standard. Then we have laser eyes. And I think once you get into Bitcoin and you discover for yourself all of the potential for humanity and the global monetary network it's almost like a religion but you get laser eyes and it seems like you can see through everything and have your eyes on the prize and the long term becoming a hodler so they do call it digital gold and I think that kind of makes sense um, when you look into the gold standard versus the Bitcoin standard and another term is to the moon and everybody kind of <laughs> kind of plays on that this whole safe moon business it's safe right because it's got the word safe in the title and then moon oh it's just perfect but oh no, please don't be fooled by that oh another one this one this one's a doozy you'll hear the name Peter Schiff total dickhead <laughs> he's a gold bug and I don't know why gold bugs and Bitcoiners can't uh, get along <laughs> maybe it's because of the gold bugs try to spread lies so bad like they spread FUD like no other they, they haven't even bothered to look into it and see why the whole entire like planet is seeing this as a monetary network and uh, you know global money people's money but oh gotta go back to the gold standard Peter Schiff he's a total dickhead he wants everything to go back to the way it was when the dollar was pegged to gold but uh, it's just it's irresponsible it's terrible going back to my last vid how the five traits that give uh, money any value um, gold just doesn't have it and you guys will see when you when you're sitting there wasting your time might as well slam your head in the door <laughs> with altcoins but be my guest go ahead and have fun play money yes you may make money in the short term but Bitcoin is pretty much guaranteed it goes up and down yes but it recovers and then it just keeps on climbing oh there's another thing called hopium or hopamine and that's okay 
I guess. I mean, when you believe all the hype, I think it's hypamine, hopium, <laughs> but there is hope in Bitcoin, but there's hopium in in the other co- coins and all you have to do I mean I yes I dabble in Cardano I do feel a little guilty but like it does have a humanitarian effort and it's on the you know it's way faster but and I could stand to make a little bit of money but um, when you're comparing like two dollars fifty cents here two dollars a coin and da, 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 let's even ethereum bouncing up to 4100 I think for a minute that was great I sold and bought more Bitcoin with it but um yeah all of those they just don't compare and they're and they're not decentralized that's key you just go through the five traits whatever if you have to but don't fall for all the hype the hopium because these coins can come and go and when you dig deeper they just change it they're they're totally controlled centralized but what was really cool is that when Elon came up with the Bitcoin uh, runs on coal (laughs) basically it was just really bad bad misinformation but all of the big names came out Michael Saylor um, Cryptos RS was doing like three videos a day telling everybody don't freak out it's just FUD and Bitcoin actually is better for the environment and it's always being improved on. Even Jack Dorsey came out and, you know, he told Elon he's uh, wrong. (laughs) And I'm not a big, huge fan of that guy, but um, it was cool. And, you know, nobody spoke up when he was like on the Bitcoin train. It was like, yay. But um, when he put out FUD, everybody finally spoke up so that was good but cryptos are us i want to thank that guy he's just been there and uh i kind of like i mean i know he's gonna give straight answers he helps out a lot seriously he does two videos a day every single day so mad props to him he knows a lot about cryptocurrencies and looks into um all of them like the white papers and you know if you have any questions you could just go to him follow him on YouTube so but anyways I thought this video would be fun it was just a little bit I am getting the dirt bike tire repaired it wasn't from wheelies I actually loaned it to my husband's nephews for the summer and they burned through the tires (laughs) so it was really cool but I still have the S1000 still in the hospital because parts have to come from Germany anyways I got the dirt bike back it's just a little trail bike yeah don't get too excited but it is so fun it's little for me anyways guys (laughs) hope you enjoyed the video and smash the like button and subscribe (laughs) because i'm back i will be out on two wheels no matter what all right love you guys bye